Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a camera overlay to your video clips on your PlayStation 5 using Share Factory. So I'm just going to go ahead and select Share Factory, and then I'm going to start up a new project. So make sure you go to the video editor on top, and then select New Project right here. And then you can choose a theme if you want. So let's just choose this one, and then you can uncheck mark these if you don't want any of them on there. And then choose the gameplay. So let's go with something that's like um, four minutes long. So let's choose this one and then select it and add it by pressing square. And then you can rename the project if you want. I'm not going to, I probably won't save any of this. So this is just me playing Call of Duty. And I really don't hear any audio because I have my mic plugged in. So I can go to the PlayStation button and then go to sound and oh, it's already on TV. So we're good to go. Now to add a camera overlay, or a mic overlay, you can press the X button, and then we want to go to Add Track 2, and select this. So you can see me since I have a camera, and then I can press X again, and then we have the option for video recording, or we can record audio, or we can add a clip over the clip. So let's go to Video Recording, and select this, and then we can start recording a video. Be like, hi everyone, I'm recording a video. This is me playing Call of Duty, yada, yada, yada. Press X. And now it's saving the commentary. And then you can go back. Let's press back. And this is how it looks right here. And I'm just talking, I'm doing my thing, and it looks good. All right, so now what I could do is change the settings specifically for the video now. So I can go to square on the video clip and I can go to edit track two now. So it's down here on the bottom. And then I can go to square again. And let's go ahead and just look at the clip. So I can add like um, PIP settings, PIP layout. So let's go to one of these. I can change the layout. So if I wanted it to, uh, let's go top left and then apply it and then back up. You can see it's moved in the top left. So you can edit the clip after you go ahead and record it too, so we can go back here. And some of these PIP layouts are kind of cool. You can do a lot of stuff with this. So you can go full screen right here. If you want to go ahead and just get your camera to be full screen on your video clip, let's select this and I'll show you guys. So it's just me with my camera. And then I, since I have a green screen in the background, it's literally playing the image in the background. So that's kind of cool. So I can go, go back to edit. And then I can go back to here. Let's go to like PIP settings. We have this as well. So we can look at this display shadow, frame, etc. And what else do we, we can add a filter, we can add a layout, we can change the clip volume, delete it, move it, trim it, split it. So we have all these options. So let's do another little clip recording and we'll change a little bit and we can add a screen screen or a dropout. So you see we have this option for a triangle right here. We can select this. And now you can see this, so I can press X on here and I can go to green screen, white screen, or normal. So if I go back to normal, it will remove the green screen in the background. Now you just see it's blue screen in the background. So I can go back over to green screen or white screen. Looks like it's cutting out all the different white areas since there's a lot of light in my house. You can see everything that is white is being cut out. So I can go back now and the gameplay will be in that area. So this is what it looks like. So. You can kind of get a little example. So if you don't have a green screen, you can always do it from there too. So let's go back and then we can go to the, um, let's go back to the edit setting right here and go to triangle. And then we can go to X on here and we can go back to green screen. And here are the different options as well. We can go to pan and zoom. And then we can add a backdrop. We can add our own video clip or image under there and then the settings. So let's just go to pan and zoom. So I can zoom in specifically on my face right here. So let's just go ahead and do this. Keep it right there. So let's go back to edit. Let's go to square. Then we can go to settings. And then we have tolerance and feathering. So if we go to this option, let's go ahead and just do a little feathering. You can see this is specifically for your green screen. So you can adjust the strength of it. And feathering is going to be similar. You're adjusting the strength of it and fine tuning it a little bit. Now let's go to backdrop. I'll show you what a backdrop is. We can go to add backdrop. And here are some of the backdrops we have. So this could be like a static image or this could be like a moving image. So you can see these are screenshots I believe I took. 
down here and me playing like Ghost of Tsushima. So we can go ahead and select something under here. So let's go ahead and uh, let's just select this Call of Duty. Well, let's go to Grand Theft Auto and just select this. So this is just my Grand Theft Auto car in the background. So you can add a kind of cool backdrop. If you have like a, a USB stick and some images on that, you could add it to as well and just have whatever kind of backdrop you want. Otherwise, you can open up the web browser on the PlayStation, take a screenshot picture with this button, and then you could add that screenshot as the background. So if you like want a beach or something or a volcano in the background, you literally could do that. And there's tons of different options. So we can replace the background. And it doesn't look like we can actually add video clips on here. It just looks like it's static screenshots that we have. But some of the ones on the top that PlayStation recommends, I believe some of these are moving ones. So if I scroll on down through, here are some examples of me taking a screenshot from um, the web browser, like this one right here, Master Chief. So we can go through here, and nope, I don't see any video clips, so this will just be images. Now let's go back, and we can record another video clip. So we can see record video clip, but before we do that, we can go to edit, and we can change the settings. So if we go back here, we can go press triangle, and we can press X now, and we can decide what one we want. We can do just a cutout on here before we start recording, or we can edit it after. So we have all these different options, but we do have the option for camera tuning under here. So we can adjust the sharpness, contrast, hue, saturation. So sometimes I like to have a little more saturation on my screen, just to make the image a little bit sharper. And when you're going to this, make sure you apply the setting first. So if you look down here on the bottom, it says press X to confirm the setting. So a lot of times I like to just press like square and I reset everything by accident. So you can just make this sharper. So this could also um, increase the color contrast here. So increase the sharp, like the saturation is if I increase this, you can see more of the blue screen in the background. So you can adjust this to fine tune whatever kind of image you're adding in the background too. So now I can go ahead and just save everything. Let's go ahead and pan and zoom actually and get up real close to my face and just see how close this zooms in. So this is 300%. Now let's do this. And now let's record a video clip here. So let's press X, record video clip. Like, this is me filming myself playing Call of Duty. I'm not cheating whatsoever. And then go back and it should be applied to my clip. Looks like I didn't save it. So if it doesn't get saved, I must have pressed the wrong button or something. So let's go back to record. And a lot of times I like to press like square or circle. So I cancel up. So you can see it's actually recording right here. And then all you have to do is press X to stop. And then it's saving the commentary. And then you can press O to back out. And then you can see it applied on your actual uh, video timeline. So right here I have full screen with the green screen in the background with my image in there with the backdrop and I'm doing my little dance and then it's going to cut just to the gameplay. Now it's going to cut to my commentary in the top right with the green screen in the background. So you can kind of cut everything out. A lot of times I like to put this in the bottom right. So if I'm like talking or something, uh, you don't really see like where I'm cut off at all. It's just the bottom of the screen. But this is all the different options you can add to your gameplay with your camera on the PlayStation 5 Share Factory. It's really awesome. This is literally how I started my YouTube channel back in 2017. This is an amazing video editor. If you want to go in and start YouTube, you can definitely do that and have a successful channel with this. But hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on Your Six Tech.